Hi, welcome to Arts Alive. I'm Walt Hyatt. Before we get started today, I have a question for you. Are you the parent of a child who is an aspiring actor or wants to make a, a living out of being an entertainer? Well, if your answer is yes, then I suggest you go get some paper and pencil right now because you might want to take a few notes because we're talking about a special event at Gallery Theater that occurs every year. It's called Kids Camp. And with me here today to talk about Kids Camp is my good friend, Debbie Harmon Ferry. Hi, Walt. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Now, you're the organizer of this, this event, chief cook and bottle washer for this. Can you give me a little perspective, a little, just a little history, an overview of, of Kids Camp? Sure. As far as I know, Gallery has had a kids camp in some form or other for at least about 30 years now. I have not been the organizer for the whole time, um, with the exception of the last two years, and that's because of COVID. So we took a break because we just weren't sure what the situation was, and uh, sure, by necessity we took a couple of years off. But we're eager and excited to get back to it. How long have you have you been off? Well, a long let's say a long, a long time. time. Probably at least this, twenty of this, those thirty years. This for a while, so. I think was it like Nathan Blandings or yes, it was uh, for for those of you who don't remember, Nathan Blandings used to be a fixture at gallery a long, long time ago. So um, now that we, now that we have our our, our paper and our, our pencils, uh, I want to start off with just some basic some dates, some when, where that type of thing. When is it going on? Wonderful. Uh, we do Gallery Kids Camp the second week in July. This year that will be July 11th through 15th. Okay. It's a day camp, so it's not an overnight experience. Students come and play with us for the day. Uh, we actually have two parts to the camp, depending on ages. So the grade schoolers are with us primarily just for the morning, and that runs from about 9 a.m. until noon. We have a snack break in between. And then anybody who's in middle school or high school who wants to come to camp, is with us from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. So it's a fuller day, I guess. And we have uh, a lunch break in the middle there mm -hmm. um, because we can do a little bit more with them and a little longer attention spans, maybe. Sure. Uh, then Friday night, July 15th, which is the final day, we actually have campers come back that evening and put on a show for their family or close friends uh, to kind of demonstrate what they've learned throughout the week. So is, that, is there like two shows then, like the younger group and then the older group? Uh... Yes, that is often the way we do it. So uh, we, have, we have a couple of dance numbers, um, one that they do to kick off the show, mm -hmm. and then the younger group, the grade schoolers, <clears throat> which is anyone who's been in first grade through fifth grade, uh, they can do um, a series of skits. So uh, it's not one large show, it's probably some smaller chunks. Mm -hmm. That way we can rehearse with them in smaller groups. Right. So now we know that it's at, at Gallery Theater, uh, again, the, the, you said the second, second week of, of July, so it's, it's not that far off uh, from uh, this taping anyway. And now um, I also wanted to know how does one uh, get in touch, sign up, sure. who do they talk to? Folks can call the theater, 503-472-2227, or email the theater, or go onto our website, and there's information about Kids Camp on the website if they want to know more. Right, and that is gallerytheater.org. Yes. I remembered. <laughs> so uh, now, uh, this, uh, this being you know, public access, uh, we, we cannot talk cost here, but I think it, it bears pointing out that there is a, a mm -hmm. relatively modest fee yes. involved. So it's, it's not free, but I, it's, it's very, Let's, let's say it's, it's very doable. It's doable, and we do offer scholarships if there's a real need, but uh, it just it covers some snacks and some T-shirts that we get the kids to wear during the performance and that kind of thing. Right. So what, um, what is provided for the kids? Like you, you mentioned, there, there's a lunch provided? Uh, usually kids brown bag it. We used okay. to provide lunch, but we found with a lot of allergies and that sort of thing that we're <sighs> almost better off to let folks bring their own. On the last day, the whole group stays and has pizza for lunch, so that, that's worked out pretty well for us. Um, but workshops and classes, and um, we say that we have four goals. We want the kids to learn a little bit about theater. We want them to make new friends or spend time with old ones. We'd like them to meet some of the gallery 
directors, actors, designers, and the most important one is we want them to have fun. Great. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about some activities that that go on during the course of Kids Camp. Absolutely. As I mentioned, there there is a dance number. Both we have one to open and to close the show. So uh, part of the time there is we have them up, moving around, dancing, learning some choreography, um, and that's really fun. I think for some campers that is their favorite part. For some campers that is their least favorite part <laughs> of the camp. Uh, we do skits, as I said, so we rehearse with them throughout the week and kind of through that process teach them what it's like to put on a show so that they get the idea of how we would do that if we did a traditional gallery mm -hmm. production, just very sped up. So we do it in five days instead of six or eight weeks. Uh, and then the middle school and, and high school set gets workshops. We don't do as many workshops with the very young, but they do workshops on improvisation, uh, costuming, a lot of different things. We bring in special guests each day to talk about their area. And so hopefully they can learn a little through that and find out maybe what aspect of theater they'd like to know more about. So a couple of them do tech. So we also talk about lighting and sound and for people who maybe don't want to be on stage but would like to explore the backstage side of things. Mm -hmm. uh, how about, the, do you ever have a, maybe, I, I'm not sure if you mentioned it, like makeup or is there any, uh, or costumes or, is there any uh, work with, yes. with some of those? We elements? have done both. So we often bring somebody in to talk about costumes and they bring down a few costumes so students can try them on and kind of see how they might act or walk or think or move or talk differently based on hats they're wearing or just a little costume piece here and there. And, and it is fun to see how natural that is for people. Just the second you bring in a new hat, their whole demeanor changes, and it's, it's neat to see that as they do the costuming workshop. And then makeup, uh, we bring someone in who usually does what we'd say is sort of a traditional look, then old age makeup, and then sometimes um, like a wound or a scar or something. And I, I have a memory. I think I came in one year and, and showed them how to make bruises. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would make sense to me, but they love to wear that home and then shock the parents a little bit. So. Right, right, right. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, uh, Debbie, since you've been involved with this for a long time as an organizer, tell me a little bit about some of your favorite things that you like to, to do at, at Kids Camp. Absolutely. I find the week both completely exhausting and completely exhilarating, <laughs> somehow at the same time. Um, I think one of my favorite things is to watch the change in the campers over the course of just five days. It doesn't seem like that long, but the first day we always have campers who are shy and nervous. We ask them to start by introducing themselves, and for some kids, even that's too much on the first day. And by day five, it's all I can do to quiet anybody down for a few minutes so I can speak, um, because they become more comfortable around other people, they uh, become more confident in themselves. And just to see that growth in a short period of time is so exciting for me. And I think the longevity of having done this camp for a lot of years, part of what I like seeing is people who came to us as very young campers and they come back year after year and we see how they've changed and grown. And then once they kind of age out of camp, some of them come back as counselors and help with the younger kids. So I really appreciate their growth in that. and. Um, kind of feeling like maybe camp had a small part in that. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, I was at the McMinnville High School Awards for Seniors, their scholarship night. And I can't tell you how many times I saw students come up on that stage and I thought, I had them in camp, I had them in camp, yep. So that was neat to see that uh, a lot of them went on to do wonderful things. Right, now you mentioned that you have counselors. So I would be remiss <clears throat> if I didn't ask you about some of the other people who are helping out with this event. Absolutely, thank you for reminding me because I have such an amazing team. First and foremost, Meredith Simons, who works full time and is um, a few years more seasoned than me, but still finds the energy and finds a way every year. Uh, she calls herself Grandma Goose. There's Mother Goose, but she's Grandma Goose. Grandma and Goose. she works with the little ones and she's fantastic. Uh, and then working with the middle and high school youth this year is Charity Livingston, who uh, has a lot of experience with that age, and mm -hmm. she's really looking forward to it. Her daughter's going to come along as one of our counselors. She's sort of been brought up in the theater as a young child and is now a little bit older. Uh, and then we have, a, a oh, our choreographer, 
uh, Noah Miller. He's oh. very talented. Mm -hmm. uh, people may have seen him in Footloose and some other things. He's quite good with the kids. He's going to choreograph the opening and closing numbers. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I have special guests. So Seth Rennie will come in and do a workshop. We've had John Hamilton come in and do workshops. Uh, we have some new people this year, which I'm excited about. And then we have a slew of teenagers who come back and help, who may have done the camp five or seven or eight times. Uh, and they kind of look forward to this as, you know, they watch the older counselors when they're, when they're campers, and they think someday that could be me. And so both Hannah and Ben Weiss will be working with us uh -huh. this year. Aspen Bailey mm -hmm. is back. Good. Will Sandberg is coming to help. Um, and I, I said uh, Celeste Livingston. So. And, and a number of these uh, participants in kids camp do go on to appear on stage in gallery theater productions. Is they that... absolutely do. They appear in gallery productions and beyond. So mm -hmm. uh, one of my earlier year campers was Mark Sanderlin, who ah. I think now, believe it or not, is in his 30s. <laughs> He's been in productions. I think he played our child once. Yeah, he uh, played our child once. But he does Peter music. Pan. Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. and he does music in New York City, which is wonderful. Uh, Daphne Riddle is one of the more recent mm -hmm. uh, folks who we've worked with as a very young child at Gallery, and she has just graduated high school and is going on to a musical theater program for her college years. So it's neat to see that happen. Well, Debbie, it's been great to have you here to tell us all about Kids Camp. I know it's always a fun, exciting, and exhausting event every year. Again, uh, if you're the parent or you know some kids who are interested in acting, emoting, and otherwise entertaining, uh, contact Gallery Theater, gallerytheater.org, or call them up at 503-472-2227 and uh, get involved in Kids Camp. So thanks again for being with me today, Debbie. Thank you, Walt. I look forward to it. And I'll uh, See you at the theater.